Welcome back guys. Today we're going to take a look at Spider-Man 2 on my AMD RX 7900 XTX GPU with a Ryzen 9800 X3D CPU. We're going to focus mostly on 4K, but we'll look at rasterization, ray tracing, a bit of upscaling, and how to deal with some of the performance issues that this game clearly has. But anyway, let's dive in. Well, let's go ahead and start with native 4K TAA, and we've maxed out everything except for the ray tracing. We're going to leave ray tracing off for now, but we're also going to look at it in a little bit. So far so good. We seem to be around 80 to 90 FPS on top of the buildings, but performance can vary quite a bit, guys. As you can see, once we begin to pick up a little bit of speed and then hover a little bit closer to the ground, if you look at our frame time, well, there's quite a few hitches happening. And while it doesn't feel terrible to play, it's okay, I would say, it doesn't feel particularly smooth. For example, once you slow down, well, it, it does become uh, quite a bit smoother. Now, I was trying to figure out what's causing this because just at a glance, it would appear to be maybe something that's data related. I'm not entirely sure. But I thought that maybe my manual overclock was affecting it somehow. So what I did was I just set the card back to default settings. The GPU I'm using is a Sapphire Nitro Plus, which is pretty much made to be overclocked. But as you can see, our frame time's still not very smooth, especially once we pick up speed. Now, I did a video on this game already on my 4090. We were looking at my 3440 by 1440 ultra wide display though. And I don't remember the frame time being like this uh, when traveling very fast. So I thought that, well, maybe it's an AMD thing, but it's not. I decided to test my 4090 on my 4K display as well. While we do have more FPS with the same exact settings than the 7900 XDX, we're at around 110 versus the um, 80 to 90 we were getting on the 7900 XDX, and it looks pretty smooth so far but as you can see once we begin to pick up a little bit of speed well it's something similar is happening with the frame time as well although not as as bad it's still there as you can see one percent lows still drop into the 40s although mid 40s this time around so clearly something's going on but anyway, let's get back to our 7900 XTX here. And I decided to take a look at 1440p just to see. And we're still running the same exact settings. No ray tracing, but everything else is maxed out more or less. And we do get more FPS, obviously, than we were at 4K. But even though we're traveling pretty fast now, the frame time is actually much, much better. It's not stuttery like it was, although it still gets a little bit more erratic. It is a noticeable difference, even if you didn't have the metrics on the screen to see it. But is this because we now have a higher base frame rate, or does it have something to do with the 4K resolution? Well, that's what I wanted to find out. But anyway, let's go back to our 4K resolution, and we'll try FSR quality, right? If it is that the base lower frame rate is what's causing these frame time issues. Well, FSR quality gets us close to 100 FPS, like it did at 1440p. And yeah, I mean, it does, it is a bit smoother for sure. It's definitely smoother. And I thought that, okay, well, maybe that's what it was, the lower base frame rate. But look at the frame time again, and you can see those uh, consistent hitches that happen. You'll see here as we pick up speed, it still begins to happen. Although it is obviously better because we're getting more FPS overall. It's not as bad. Still, I think the game needs some patches. Something's happening and uh, hopefully they can get it fixed. But I would recommend using FSR quality because actually FSR looks pretty good in this game. I wanted to show you guys so you can see for yourselves here, I did a side by side with FSR and DLSS on balance between my 4090 and 7900 XDX. And we've maxed out all the settings, including ray tracing. And as you can see with FSR balance and the 7900 XDX on the left and DLSS balance 4090 on the right. I mean, yeah, FSR is 
a bit less stable, especially with like distant items. There's definitely a little bit more increased flickering, but I think overall it looks actually really good in my opinion, especially with the foliage and the trees, which has been a, a bit of a weakness for FSR in the past. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. It looks quite stable. I wouldn't have any issues using FSR balance in this game, at least in 4K, it looks pretty good, but I think we can get around some of these issues. Anyway, though, let's take a look at ray tracing. We're going to start with 4K native TAA. Let's go ahead and max out all the ray tracing. We're going to leave ray tracing object range to six. I think that's a pretty good one. It works pretty good. You're not going to really tell the difference all that much between six and 10, if I'm being honest. And it looks like the game is compiling ray tracing shaders. Well, let's let it finish that and then we'll look at it. Okay, so the shaders have been cached and at native 4K with all the ray tracing maxed out, we're getting around 30, 40 FPS and we're on top of the roof. Well, down below, it's going to be <laughs> a lot more demanding. Performance is probably not going to be great, but that's okay because we want to see what the card can do and then we're going to make some tweaks. And then I'll also give you my uh, recommended settings, if you will, or how I would play the game. I would want to have some form of ray tracing in this game, just because at least the reflections look really, really nice. And they add into the atmosphere and the immersion for the game. But yeah, clearly, native 4K, it's it's very, very, very demanding. And then we have those uh, frame time issues on top of everything, which uh, don't help much. But boy, does it look really nice. One thing we could do is knock the ray tracing preset from ultimate to very high. And that should give us a little bit more performance back, although it's not that much. It basically knocks down ray trace shadows and ambient occlusion one notch. So I believe the PlayStation 5, uh, even the Pro, only has ray traced ambient occlusion and reflections, I believe. Or is it shadows? I forget, but the PC has one additional ray trace setting. Then you also have interior ray tracing uh, as well on PC and more complex geometry and overall the settings in ray tracing go even higher. But yeah, as you can see, that is still very demanding. So what we can do here is try to use a bit of FSR quality. Now I did find uh, some good settings to show you guys uh, that I came up with. I'll show you in a little bit, but let's go over the motions here and try to see what we can do. So with FSR quality, actually, that does bring us uh, closer to 60. Although, as you're probably aware by now, <laughs> once we drop down and start moving pretty fast, uh, the performance does take a little bit of a hit. But we're on the right path. I think if we probably tried FSR balance, it might work a little bit better for us. Again, the, the biggest uh, worry or concern, that, that what stands out the most, is the frame time inconsistency. Okay then, let's go ahead and try FSR balance. I think this, we should be okay with this. We should be able to stay at 60 plus with FSR balance. And again, like I showed you earlier, it actually looks pretty good. Yeah, maybe not as uh, steady or consistent as DLSS, but still it is. it does look much better than say FSR looked in the first game uh, versus DLSS. I would say here they're definitely more comparable to one another. And then, yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty good. And we stay overall above 60, even when traveling pretty fast. Again, frame time can be a bit hit or miss, but I'd say overall this is quite playable and it feels fairly smooth for the most part. But anyway, let me show you some of the settings I came up with that include ray tracing, of course, that I feel make the game feel pretty good to play. Although this isn't too bad, I think we can do a little bit better than this and make a few more sacrifices and a few more tweaks. All right, so we're back to native 4K maxed out ray tracing and we're getting 37 FPS right now. I know for me, the most important ray trace setting in this game really, really realistically is the reflection. So we can go ahead and try to turn everything else off, including ray trace shadows, AO, and interiors. And just like that, we go from 37 FPS to 54 FPS. I mean, that's a huge gain, basically. And again, the reflections are what stands out the most. The shadows and the image occlusion, of course, do enhance the game. 
especially the shadows can be quite flickery in this game without ray tracing but still i think that reflections look really really good now to get even higher we can try fsr quality and that should take us above 60 for the most part now when traveling very fast of course yeah the performance does take a little bit of a hit but the game looks really really nice with the ray trace reflections however we do have one more tool in our toolbox that we can use and it actually works really well in this game fsr frame generation and here we go guys we're currently at 77 fps without frame generation and we throw fsr frame generation and it takes us all the way up to close to 140 so that is actually pretty close to doubling of the fps now of course that's going to drop a little bit as we make our way down but if you look at the frame time it actually smoothens that out pretty nicely so yeah i looked at dlss and fsr frame generation actually on my yesterday's video when we looked at the 4090 and yeah i came to the conclusion that uh, fsr frame generation works really well in this game it looks pretty good and it feels pretty good actually as long as you stay at least i would say above 100 or 110 no lower than 100 once you drop lower than 100 half your frames are real and half are generated obviously the imperfections are gonna begin to show uh, quite easily actually and uh yeah but i would say this is feels pretty good to play the game looks really really good with fsr quality you have the beautiful ray trace reflections and with fsr frame generation uh you you will be close to 120 uh, fps most of the time as a matter of fact if you put 120 fps lock which i would uh, because i play on 120 hertz oled display i think this is really good now if you wanted to you could try increasing some of the ray tracing so we could try adding some of the stuff back at least we can add some shadows and ambient occlusion it does actually make a difference visually again the shadows do look quite nice with uh, ray tracing and we will take a little bit more of a hit but again like i said now that we're dropping uh, below 100 in the more problematic demanding areas you will begin to see some of the imperfections or the flaws of frame generation which could be garbling or uh, artifacting that sort of thing i was able to notice it so i guess it comes down to what do you prefer and how much that stuff bothers you or how much it stands out or you could just say screw ray tracing and just stick to rasterization and get a ton more frames or you could lower fsr to balance again like we covered fsr balance does look pretty good here uh, at 4k anyway but yeah guys we've arrived at the end of the video clearly this is not nix's uh, best work but it does need a bit of love from the developer it does have some issues like we covered that is quite unfortunate but i think we still have quite a few settings we can tweak and some tools that the pc has that can make the game uh, very enjoyable in my opinion anyway but i don't know what do you guys think what's your experience been i wouldn't blame you if you decided to pass on this port or at least wait for a few more updates which i will more than likely cover as they arrive and i hope to see them soon because you know the game is actually pretty decent i mean the story didn't grab me as much as the first one did but the game is is a beautiful game and it is fun to play it's uh, action-packed you know the story could have been better i guess but anyway i don't i don't mean to to ramble i like seeing all the technologies that are in the game but i felt it should have been delayed a bit and have a good solid launch because you know Having issues is not a good first impression. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments down below and let me know. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.